Hello guys, I'm so excited to talk about one of my favorite subjects today and that is Microsoft Teams. There are a few updates that I really want to tell you guys about that are super awesome and can be very useful for your team. So let's get into it. So first I want to talk about Teams channels. Now, one of the biggest concerns for us when we started using this was a word called access. When they first introduced Teams and Teams channels, it was a bit sketchy on what people would have access to if they were inside a certain channel or inside the team itself and whatnot. It really confused us and it scared us because we didn't want certain team members to be able to chat in certain channels and, you know, everything with that. So. I have good news because they have updated Teams channels and they now have this thing called a private channel. So let me show you what that is and what that looks like. So if you can look on my screen here, I've got our Axiom team and I've got some channels created under that. And as you can see, some of these channels have this little lock icon. That is saying that they are a private channel. When you go to create a channel, so you click on the three dots and you click to add a channel, you can choose the channel name. So I'm gonna say test just for this purpose. And then you can say a description if you'd like. And then here you can change the privacy to allow everyone on the team to have access, specific teammates to have access, or shared so people you choose from your organization or other organizations have access so that's really important to note that the private is really still just inside your organization so you get to choose who inside your organization has access to that channel but if you're wanting people outside of the organization to have access to the channel you would want to put it as a shared channel so when you click on private, it's gonna create a channel and it's gonna create a SharePoint site specifically for that channel. So what does that mean? I don't wanna confuse you guys with this, so I'm gonna be very specific with how I say this. Every time you create a team inside Microsoft Teams, it creates a SharePoint site for that team. Awesome, that's great. Now that you have the access and the opportunity to create a private channel, once you create a private channel, it creates its own separate SharePoint site outside of the team site itself. So that is important to know because that goes into the next topic that I want to share with you guys, which is the connection between Microsoft Teams and SharePoint. Our minds have been literally blown recently with how we've been able to integrate SharePoint and Teams with these private channels. We have been able to add specific SharePoint documents and folders and files inside the Teams channel itself and restrict access by using the access inside of Microsoft Teams. So what does that mean? That basically means that our team doesn't even have to go on to SharePoint to view SharePoint anymore. They can do it all through Microsoft Teams. And this is like, this is huge for efficiency with your team. I am not kidding you. SharePoint can be some of the most confusing things that you'll have to learn when it comes to Microsoft, but Teams has made it way easier. So let me share with you how we set this up with our team. So if you guys wanna use this with your team, you can. Okay, so I am inside my marketing channel under our Axiom team. If you can see here in the top tab, you have this file section. With this tab, you're able to view all of your folders and files that are under the SharePoint site titled Marketing. So that is a SharePoint site that was created because of the marketing channel. So. Another thing to note is not everybody who has access to our Axiom team can have access to these folders. It is only the people who have access to this channel who can view the folders. Now, of course, you can share the link with somebody and then it changes to where they'd be able to have access. But as far as just the basics of it, when you create the folder inside this channel, only the people who have access to the marketing channel are going to see this. So you can also add SharePoint site pages directly to Microsoft Teams. 
What does that mean? Well, you can create SharePoint sites that have pages with quick links and access to whatever your team may need. And if you don't know how to do that, I've created a video already on this and I'll link it above that basically will teach you quick way of how to create a SharePoint site page and make it look pretty and nice for your team. But how you would add that is you would go to this plus button in the top of a channel. Then you would go to the SharePoint tab. You would add that in. And it's going to ask you where you would like to grab. So I would go to pages and I want to add the home page here. Okay, so I would click on the home page. And then I don't want to post it to the channel, so I'm going to uncheck this. And then I'm going to click Save. This is going to add a tab titled Home Page. This is my home page for my SharePoint site that was created specifically from this marketing channel. Again, this is not tied to the Axiom team. Okay, this is tied to the marketing channel itself. This has been so useful for our team. If you're still confused on how this has been useful for our team, let me share why. We have tons and tons of folders, documents, files that our engineers have to access through SharePoint, right? There's a lot of different ways to get to those files, get to those folders, but it could be very confusing for your team because of the amount of data that is piled into SharePoint sometimes. But what we've done here with integrating it inside Microsoft Teams channels is we have created one place for our team to view all files and folders that they could possibly need inside SharePoint. So anytime they need client information, they just go to that specific channel, go to the files tab, and pull up the data that they would like straight from Microsoft Teams. This is way easier for your company to learn and understand and comprehend rather than teaching them how to use SharePoint in its entirety. So I hope this makes sense to you guys and I hope this inspires you to potentially try this out for your team if you guys are using Microsoft Teams. I know for people and businesses who are like us who are inside Microsoft Teams all the time already for meetings and chats and whatnot, this is a no-brainer for making it so easy to access any document you could possibly need. So if you guys have any questions about this, concerns, or ways that you have used this in your team, I would love to hear about it down below in the comments. And if you would like to dive more into a specific part about this and ask questions and maybe have me make a video on it, make sure to put that in the comments below and I'd be happy to make a video for you. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.